the case of European Union, the problem nowadays is that labor is a problem. Shortage of labor is there. The second also that the innovative product what you are producing, we need a good market. You know, as such, India is having a huge population. It's number two in the world as such. So there's a lot of uh, opportunity for uh, you people to sell the product uh, in India with value additions, number one. Number two, as I told you very clearly, so the, as a cooperative movement, we can also take the help of the farmers of this region of India, where they can also come and help for you as a manpower. Third interesting what's important is that you have a lot of technology. We need technology also. So the technology integration can also be done as such. The more important is that there is need to have a policy making between your country and also India as such. So we can make some steps one by one. Uh, tomorrow, I think the Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister is coming over here. So we can have an interaction, we can get a letter from him. So we can go and show to our country people. So what are the merits you are having? What are the demerits you are having? And similarly, whatever the demerits you are having, how we can able to make it a merit? How we can able to make a, uh, what you call it, the challenges into an opportunity? This is one of the very excellent forum where the initiative what you are taking is wonderful and we can able to strengthen it. Then only we can able to see is a globalized situation of dairy association. That's what my personal opinion and we can definitely work out some area of, of cooperation among ourselves so the both country can grow well and the farmers of the country of yours, the farmers of our country of ours can also get the benefit of our combined effort assets. That's what I wanted to say.